say to come to this pulpit. And I don't know what, I never know what he's got in store. But you know, he comes prepared. I know that. He was already giving me his lowdown of some stuff he was going to do. And I said, man, you need to patent that down a little bit, brother. We, you know, come on, these kids got school. No, I'm just kidding. Amen. Praise God. But no, we want him to come and take his liberty in the Lord. Amen. Everybody say, God bless Brother Smith. Come on, you can do better than that. I mean, I remember Pete Rose. And they clapped, they clapped their hands louder than that. But guess what? Everybody say what? I'm not Pete Rose. And I can't dive like him either. Brother Travis, can you hook this thing up for me? Tell you what, I've had him running behind the scene all over the place. I don't know what in the world we would do without this man of God. Amen. But we are so, so glad to be in the house of the Lord. I'd like to get all the children to come right over here on this row here, because I'm going to talk right in your, in your grill. Come on, honey. Last one up here is a slowpoke. And these, these two are going to do a song for us right now. And uh, we want you, I know you'll remember these songs because... Uh, all about harvest. Amen. And I tell you what, we are living in harvest time. Somebody say amen. 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 I've never seen it like it is the day that we live in. And I was thinking about BBS and I was thinking about how these kids got got to talking about the whole armor. Cheyenne, do you remember the whole armor? Come here. I mean, this has been, what, a couple months ago? I'm going to have salvation, just plate of righteousness, belt of truth, shield of faith, sword of the spirit, gospel shoes of peace. Whoa! Show the faith, spare the Lord, and we got to have affectional and fervent prayer. Somebody say amen. That's the whole armor. We need the whole armor, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I want you to know that God wants us to put on the whole armor. You know why? Everybody say why. Because we're living in evil days. Now, you all don't even know what I'm talking about here when I start saying some of these things. But I want you to know what I'm getting ready to talk to you about is the greatest gift this side of heaven. I seen Sister Tiffany go over here one night in this corner. I've seen a lot of people go in this corner over here. Can anybody see what that says? What's that say? It says what? Say it like you got the victory. This is Victory Corner over here. And uh, before this is over, we'd like to have those of you that want to receive the totality of the eclipse, somebody say amen. amen. Then we can go right over here to Victory Corner. Okay? Because we need the Holy Ghost in the day that we're living in. Somebody say amen. If you could pull up Ephesians chapter number 6 for the reading of the Word, you don't have to stand. If you don't want to, I'm not going to bring a nail and a hammer and uh, nail you to the floor. But the Bible says here in Ephesians, I better get my spectacles out, chapter number 6. Verse number 10. I'm sorry. Verse number 10. Everybody say, finally. finally. Say it again. Finally. finally, lighthouse. Everybody say, lighthouse. Finally. finally, I'm just personalizing a little bit because I want the Scripture to talk into your spirit. Especially you older ones here like Cheyenne and and these older ones, how many is in the sixth grade? Let me see your hand. Fifth grade. Fourth grade. 
Seventh grade. Eighth grade. All right. How many has got ants in their pants? <laughs> All these little ones. All right. Finally, Lighthouse, be strong in the Lord and in the power of what? Who's mine? In the might of Jesus. Now listen. Put on what? Put on what? Of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles. Listen to me, Cheyenne. Able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay, the devil. Say the devil's after me. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve year olds, the devil is trying to twist you up. He wants to steal. Look at me, look in my eyes a minute. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy you. But what I'm telling you about, if you put on this whole armor of God, which is the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Somebody say amen. amen. When you get the Holy Ghost, God will lead and guide you into all truth. Do you hear me? Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. All right. So God can lead and guide you into all truth when you put on the whole armor. Because the days are evil. Somebody say amen. amen. We are living in perilous times. We are living in the evil days. Lost souls dying daily. Faces fading fast. We've got to reach the lost somehow. Okay? And God's going to reach your teacher. Listen to me, girls, boys. God's going to reach your teacher at school through you. You are the light of the world. You understand that? Say, I am the light. When Jesus puts His Spirit on the inside of you, you are the light. Okay? There's some things you don't do when you're a Christian. Somebody say amen. amen. How many knows you don't do this? How many knows you don't do that? Say amen. amen. How many knows you don't do this? For a season, a short season, then your liver is ate up. Okay? How many knows we don't do this? How many knows we don't do this? Christians don't do that. Amen? There's some things that Christians don't do. God wants us to live holy. Everybody say holy. holy. So we need to be covered. Turn to your name and say, you need to be covered. You need to be covered by the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when you got that covering, I tell you, there's not a, a devil that can touch you. The Bible says there's not a weapon formed. Nothing. You can walk in victory when you got the Holy Ghost. Do you understand what I'm saying? The greatest gift, let's all say that, the greatest gift this side of heaven is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is Jesus' Spirit. Do you understand what I'm saying? He comes on the inside of you. And He gives you peace. He gives you joy. How many needs comfort once in a while when a loved one passes away? He's your comforter. He's your navigator. He will lead, the Bible says, and guide you in all truth. Oh, I'm going to do it my way, Brother Smith. Have you prayed about it first? Have you really said, God, I'm going on a seven-day fast 
because I need some navigation. I mean, when you get down to business with God, guess what? God will get down to business with you. I just felt like something hit there. I don't want to stay there too long. But I just want you to know that when you walk in the Spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. You won't do the things. You know, there's some music out there, boys and girls, that you shouldn't listen to. Hello? There's some books that you shouldn't look at. Somebody say amen. amen. And for those of you who got computers, there's some things on the computer you shouldn't look at. Amen. And something comes up on your phone, you better be careful what button you push these days. Amen. Amen. I've experienced that this couple of weeks ago. I told my wife. She said, I've seen it too. You know what? We're living in evil days. In evil days, you need the equipment. You need to be a full-dressed soldier in the army of the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm 72 years old, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And in all my life, I have never heard of some of the bad things that's going on in our homes, in our schools, on our jobs. You don't want me to say what I've seen. When we were flying in from Florida, when one of the ladies went into the cockpit where they were flying the Airbus to take us home. We are living in perilous times. Amen. I won't go into detail, but it was obvious what had happened. I want you to know we're living in perilous times. Our streets aren't safe. Our streets are not safe. I just talked to a young lady today in costume gallery. And she told me her testimony of two years ago, how she went to Kroger's. And a lady tried to take her purse and she had a knife. And she was cut nine times before she could get away from her. I want you to know we're living in perilous times, boys and girls. Listen to me. I don't want, I want to burn this in your brain like a branding arm. You need God's love, His Spirit in your life. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. If I could name this this lesson tonight, I would name it Dress for Success. I want to be successful, don't you? So I need to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. In one scripture, Brother Lloyd, it says, Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Amen. I heard Brother Lucky a couple, three weeks ago teach on, on, on that one verse there. We need the mind of Christ in the day that we're living in. Hallelujah. God gave us a covering when He left out of here a little over 2,000 years ago. And the directions how to live for God is in the Bible. So we need to pray and we need to read our Bible. Can we say that? Pray, read your Bible. Pastor, 
bought a lot of Bibles around here. And all you children should have one. If you don't have one, see Brother Pastor. He'll get you a Bible. I want you to know that the Bible is our directions. Somebody say amen. God gives us His Word for our direction. Hallelujah. We talked about the whole armor of God. We need to dress for success to be covered. We all have problems in our life. How many has problems? Boys and girls, do you have problems? Where's that camera at, brother? That's going back in the back room. All right. It's on me, that means come on out. Amen. Brother Chris, you want to go get Brother Chris? (laughs) Ta-da! Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Yes! Hallelujah. Does he look like a warrior or not? My, 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 my. It's time to go to war. Come right on up here, brother, and help me preach a little bit. Stand about right there. Amen. You think he ain't got a shield? Look at that shield. We can ride that in a couple months down the flood wall, can't we? (laughs) Hallelujah. Look at them boots, man. They're shod with truth and preparation. Oh, my goodness. Look at that shield of faith and that breastplate of righteousness. Look at the helmet up here. Amen. We gotta be fully dressed. Everybody say fully dressed. We can't get fully dressed without the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And that's what that corner's for. And we got Sister Missy here and we got Sister Lucky here and we got a few others that can pray and we can bring down the presence of God while they sing. You can get the Holy Ghost. Is that okay? Hallelujah. How many want the Holy Ghost? I don't want to go to hell. I said I don't want to go to hell. Listen to me. Hallelujah. God wants us all to go to heaven. Amen. And put on the whole armor. That's protection. Everybody say protection. That's protection. How many knows we're in a battle? We are in a battle for our life. We are in a battle for our life. So we need to dress for success. Listen to me a minute, young ladies and young men. We all have problems in our life. Anybody know what peer pressure is in schools? I thank God for Christian schools, but I'm going to tell you what, in the public school, you got pressure. You got pressure. You got peer pressure. You got to dress like they dress. You got to look like they look. You got to listen to what they listen to. If you're going to be in the, in the little clique, you know what I'm saying? Everybody say no cliques. No cliques in the church. We don't have any cliques in, we got leadership, but we don't have cliques. Amen. We're all in this together. Everybody say together. So you got problems in your life. We have peer pressure. How many know you we have self esteem? I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think I look good enough. You look in the mirror when you get ready for school and you say, eh, not all right, I don't know. You know, but you need ladies need to look like ladies, and men need to look like men. Amen. Why? Because we are ambassadors for God. Hallelujah! This world's not a home. We're we're worshiping another kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. So pressure and self-esteem. We care how we feel. You know, you're only getting a half a message tonight. You say, why? Because my printer run out of ink. 
Well, that ain't the only reason, because I, after I typed it out, I took my cell phone and I took pictures of it. And I scrolled it and took pictures, so I got it right here on my phone. But guess what? The phone's dead. <laughs> my phone's dead. It died. Jesus never dies. He never runs out of electricity. He never runs out of power. Hallelujah. He said, I'll go with you all the way, even to the end of the world. Amen. There's not peer pressure, self-esteem that you and God can't handle. Somebody say amen. But you got to have the want to. you got to have the want to. Hallelujah. Dress for success. Hallelujah. You know what? Everybody say what? We care how we feel about ourselves. Come on now. We look in the mirror and we got this big bubble sticking out and we say, ooh. I wish I was 60 pounds lighter. Guess what? Say what louder. I like that. You ain't going to lose 60 pounds sitting there at that table eating three times more than you need. I'm preaching to myself. Ouch. Ouch. Amen. Oh, I'll start mine tomorrow. Yeah, you can get those crab shacks tomorrow too. (laughs) Tomorrow never comes. Today is the day of salvation. We need Him now. Why? Because we're living in perilous times. We are in end time, if you don't know it, on your spiritual clock. It ain't no time to be fooling around. Brother Robert, we got to be real. we got to be right. Hallelujah. we got to do it like God's Word says to do it. Or you'll be left behind. You might twiddle your thumbs for a while after the rapture takes place, but you'll start biting off the ends of your fingers when you see the wrath coming in. According to the book, Amen. We need to dress for success. Hallelujah. We care about how we feel about ourselves. And we care how others feel about us. Don't don't you say, well, I don't care what they think or what they say, you know. Yes, you do, you big liar. You're going to go to hell if you keep lying. All liars have their part in hell. You can't lie and get by. Somebody say amen. I know that's hard, but that's truth. And the truth will make you free. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going on. I'm moving. Oh, my printer's almost... I ain't kidding you. I mean, my, it, 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 it. we don't like to have attention drawn to ourselves in public, do we? Somebody say amen. We don't like to be embarrassed. We don't. We're human. We don't like to be humiliated. Same thing about. But. We all have this as young people and older folks. We have problems. But the greatest gift this side of heaven is God's Spirit living on the inside of us. And if you haven't given your heart to God and repented of your sins, Brother Travis, do you know how to put that ball diamond up there for a second? Oh, she knows. All right. Just for the sake of you that's never seen my ball diamond, not only am I going to show you the ball diamond, I'm going to give you one to take home with you. Amen. Amen. It says, it don't say a gospel plan, does it? The. The. I was telling a guy today that's trying to get me in the Kenton County Jail, and uh, we were sitting over lunch, and I, I began to tell him, I said, you know, when we get to heaven, there's not going to be a petition. 
for the Methodists, the Episcopalians, uh, the Latter-day Saints, the Jehovah Witnesses. Come on now. Somebody say amen. amen. There's not going to be a petition when we get to heaven. There's going to be one heaven. There's going to be one God. And there's only one plan. There's a plan for man, and he done this before the foundation of the world. He set this in order. This ain't nothing new just because I put it on a baseball diamond. Jesus died on the cross. we got to die to ourself. Jesus went to the tomb. We go to the water. Everybody say H2O. We are to be baptized in the only saving name. Now some of you children, listen to me. Don't make me blow my whistle. This is important. Because some of you are old enough to get baptized. Okay? Two of my oldest boys was baptized when they were eight years old because they wanted to go to heaven. Amen. How many want to go to heaven? Amen. So you need, you need this baptism. It's called water and spirit. One baptism. Water, spirit. Let's say it. Water, spirit. We have to be baptized of the water and the spirit. You say, well, that's two. No, water and spirit. All right. So here we go. Third base, Jesus come out of the tomb. See His hands reached up like this. He come up out of the grave. And when we come up out of the water, God will keep His promise. How many of you children have been baptized already? See, see your hand. One, two. Okay. We have two right here. Okay, now God promised both of you His Spirit. And guess what? Everybody say what? God don't lie. And He can give it to you if you want it. Amen. He that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be. All right. So we got the death, burial, resurrection. First base, second base, third base. And then what's home plate? Everybody say heaven. How many want to go to heaven? Okay, when you're 18 or 19 years old and this, you have a little flashback of this night where Brother Smith was up here telling you how to go to heaven. Okay? And maybe some things crept in your life that you didn't, you didn't want to happen, but it happened because you didn't stay in church. You didn't listen to pastor. How many Sunday school teachers we got here tonight? I know we got a couple back there. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got about eight Sunday school teachers in this room right now. These Sunday school room teachers will tell you how to go to heaven. They'll tell you what to do to get God's Spirit in your life. You see, because we're, we're all on the same page. We're trying to go to the same place. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. The Lord, He is good. His mercy endureth forever. I'd like for the music to come at this time. And, and uh, on a serious note, I would, I would love to us, listen to me, I would love for us to get serious about our relationship with God. Amen. Some of you children has been coming here over a year and you've heard a lot of Word of God because I know how this lady teaches. I know how Sister Lucky teaches. And I tell you what, like I said, I've never seen it. I'm going to tell you a little something. And I... And I know some of you are young enough to not know. But just because they pass rules in Washington, D.C., if it's against God's Word, right. okay, we still obey the Word rather than man. That's right. What the Word says. Amen. Somebody say Amen. Amen. 
Some young ladies make a mistake when they're, some of them 11, 12, 13 years old. And then they have the baby aborted. Abortion is wrong. You can, you can get forgiven from it. But that's what the devil wants to lead your life. He wants to steal and kill and destroy. He wants to make a mess out of your life. Amen. And here's the beautiful part about it. Listen to me. When we get baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, you know what we do? We draw a line. We draw a line. And we stay on God's side. Come on, amen. We don't go over there. Amen. We don't listen to that. We don't do that. We don't undress and do things that we shouldn't do in front of a mirror. Somebody say amen. I know I'm getting pretty raw here, but I just, I just want to tell you something. That Satan is after every one of you all. And he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. You shouldn't even be thinking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend until you're about 16. Amen. And the parents said, Amen. I know it's old school. Amen. I told Brother D he's going to have to shine that shotgun up. She's a pretty one. Amen. But you've got to be careful, young ladies, how you dress too. Did you know that? I'm old enough to say that. You don't, you don't dress to draw attention to yourself and to your body. Somebody say amen. amen. But you want to dress to please the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. I'm going to let Pastor come up here and give this all to call, and I'm going to come over here and wait. We've got a lot of chairs over in Victory Corner, and I'd like to talk to you if you want the Holy Ghost. And if you're an adult and you don't have the Holy Ghost, I want to talk to you too. Because you can't get to heaven without God's Spirit in your life. And the only way that you can get it is to repent of your sins and allow Him to come into your heart and your life. Be baptized in Jesus' name. And guess what? You will speak. Brother Smith, do I have to speak in tongues? No. You get to speak in tongues. Right. Amen. That's a heavenly language. we got a soldier over here that's going to be guarding to make sure no demons come near this corner. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise right now. Come on. I want to get everybody to stand with me right now. Can we do that, please, all over this building? I'd like to get some of our teachers, if they would, to help us maybe this morning, a little bit here this evening. I mean, man, if you, maybe a couple of your teachers just to make your way over there. I want to give an opportunity. Brother Lucky, I want to let you play here in just a minute, brother. But I, I want I want us just to lift our hands. Can we all do this right now? Just stretch your hands forward to God and see what 